Welcome to the new redesigned Open Shutters website. Today I'll show you how to use the new pinboard function that allows you to collect shutter and screen inspirations from a whole range of products. These are some examples that we've created already. Have a look through them to get a feel for what you can do and what these shutters and screen pinboards will look like. Now let's create a new one. We can either do that from the home page with a direct link or by going to the products page. We use this one for now. At first, all of the screen and shutter solutions are displayed. You can filter them to your heart's content and that way hopefully find exactly what you're looking for. If you need to filter down even more, you can enter some keywords to the right. Like so. And images will be filtered live as you add them on. You can click now on any of these images to see more detail. You'll have a short version of the specifications on the top. You can view more specific specifications down below. You can view the other project images. Click through them. And of course, add them to my pin board. Like so. Close this again, and I can repeat this with any other images that I'm looking at here. I can add them directly to the pin board or look at the specifications again first. Once I've done that, I can go and manage my pin board down here. All the images that I've added are collected in here in my pin board. And I can manage my pin board by giving it a name. I can preview it down here. And then use the various share functions on the side to either send an inquiry to open shutters. I would fill in all my details here. Or Share it by email, Facebook, Twitter, or even stick it on Pinterest. Once I've sent it or shared it, I can also save my pin board. Saving and adding a password here allows me to access my pin boards later again. Either if I have an account already, I can log in or register an account for free, filling in those details. The bonus of having an account and a login is you can add multiple pin boards under the same account name, keep them, share them later, and refer back to them, edit them, and keep using them. Well, we hope this is useful to you and your business, of course, and let us know how you go.